Hello, and welcome to the 505 tutorial for configuring speed signals. In this tutorial, you will learn how to configure speed input channels. The 505 has two digital speed input channels that are capable of interfacing to magnetic pickup units, or MPUs, and proximity speed probe sensors. It is important for you to know how to configure these channels properly to connect your turbine to your 505 controller. To configure speed input channels, you must be logged in to the Configure User Level and Configuration Mode. Refer to the Changing User Levels and Changing Modes and Languages tutorials to learn how to do this. To configure a speed input channel from the home screen, press the black function key below Configuration. On the Configuration menu screen that opens, use the navigation cross keys to select Speed Control, then press Enter. From the Speed Input Channel 1 screen that opens, you can configure all of the parameters pertaining to the first speed input channel. The type of probe you will be using for this channel. The name or device tag of this probe. The number of teeth on the gear where the first speed probe is mounted. The ratio of the speed sensor gear to the turbine shaft. This gear ratio is the result of dividing the speed of the speed sensor gear by the speed of the turbine shaft the highest speed that the controller will read. If the speed goes above this level, it will not be read into the control, and the failed speed level, which is used to determine when a speed probe has failed. If the speed drops below this level, the control will determine that the speed input channel has failed, and it will issue an alarm. If all speed inputs fail, the 505 will issue a trip on loss of speed inputs. Remember, each of the two speed channels corresponds to the similarly numbered input terminals on the back of the 505. On the selected channel screen, you can use the following components of the 505's front panel to select fields, change the values within them, and add or remove check marks. The navigation cross keys, enter, the adjust keys, and the numeric keypad. The explanations for using these components are provided in the screen navigation tutorial. To access the Speed Input Channel 2 screen, press the black function key below the right arrow button. If you want to use the second Speed Input Channel, use the navigation cross keys to highlight the Use Speed Input Channel 2 box. Then press Enter. Speed Input Channel 2 is configured independently from Speed Input Channel 1. To return to the Configuration menu, press Home. Press Home again to return to the main screen. Please note that the 505 automatically verifies continuity of speed MPU circuits each time it prepares to issue a ready to start status message. So if you configured one or both of the speed input channels to use an MPU and the speed is at zero, you can use the controller to perform a manual test for open wires. To run the open wire test, you need to access the analog input summary screen. To get there from the home screen, Use the navigation cross keys to highlight analog inputs, and then press enter. On the analog input summary screen, press the black function key below speed signal 1. If you configured the controller for both speed signals, the speed signal 2 button will display as well. The speed input channel screen displays the values we configured earlier in this tutorial. It also displays live values. Verify that the speed is zero and the probe type is MPU, as this test can be performed only for an MPU when the speed is at zero. Press the black function key below Open Wire Test. In the Open Wire Test channel window that pops up, verify that both test permissives LEDs are illuminated green, and then press the black function key below Run Test. The processing LED illuminates blue shortly before the completed LED illuminates green. If the test fails, the open wire fault LED will illuminate red, as is shown here. When this occurs, you should check the wiring from the end device to troubleshoot the fault. If the controller had to abort the test, the aborted LED would have illuminated red. Press the black function key below Close to close the open wire test channel window. To run the open wire test on the second speed input channel, press the black function key below the right arrow button. Press home to return to the main screen. 
If you are finished using the 505 for now, remember to exit configuration mode. You now know the basics of how to configure speed input channels. Please be sure to view the other tutorials for more information.